sometimes you might have a paragraph of information and I don't, it's stretching out beyond my, my document and I don't want that to happen. So I know this tool right here will do something, but um, I know if I, it's just make, it's making everything smaller and I found the size that I want. I just, I don't want to, to resize it. I just want this to go on to the next line. So I'm going to find a cutoff point. I'm going to make sure I'm on my text tool. And then if I hold my shift and enter, that um, th what it, wherever I, my cursor was blinking, everything after that will go to the very next line down. If I didn't use the shift key, it, it oh, it, enter key works as fine as well. Other programs, you might just use the shift key. It goes to the very next line down. Sometimes though, um, you have this big gap between, because I use a larger font, I have a big gap between this paragraph, the first paragraph and the second. So I might want to reduce, there's a couple different ways to do this, but if I click in front of this A and drag up, it's highlighting the character, which is no character, but it's highlighting the, the gap right there. So I can go in there and drop that down. That reduces the, the space in there if I wanted to do it that way. Um, Another way to do that, though, another way to reduce the space is to click on this, make sure the bounding box is around it. So I clicked off of it. I have my black arrow selected, clicking back on this text. Um, and now I'm going to look a, a little bit more. But this, this area right here is called letting, I think. But it allows me to change the the distance between the lines so it closes the gap a little bit and and that's exactly what i'm looking for here so that looks a little bit better to me i have one clear paragraph i have another paragraph um, beginning but i do not I'm, i might want to shorten up this gap so again to, to change the font i click in front of this a and drag up it's highlighting a character and then i can make that that little area smaller if i want to um, <clears throat> another thing I see at this level a common mistake. A lot of students might put something like, here's a phone number. For some reason, I don't know why it happens, but like you run out of room, so I'm going to put the, the last four digits on the next line down. And don't do that. Like we don't want to, we want to modify the font. A phone number would stick together. It just doesn't make sense to have um, the next piece of content on the, on the next line down. Same thing with like a name. I might have Mrs. Becky Smith. Um, but for some reason, people might ask like type Smith on the next line down. And we wouldn't want to do that. So you keep like information together. We don't want to separate the information. Um, the goal is to start making things look good so you can mess with the line spacing, um, which is often called letting, and I was hoping it would show up here, but it's not. But this area here would reduce the lines. Maybe that's a little too tight. I would want to increase that just a little bit. Maybe I can put hand type in 20. Um, and then some common problems. Keep like information together. Don't let things go to the next line. It doesn't make sense to do that. You might have to change font size. You might have to put things in a different spot but um, or start a new text box altogether. But you do want to keep like information together.